Thank you, President Ender, for that really nice introduction. And congratulations to every single one of you on your graduation tonight. I'd say you look fantastic, but I can only see about the first five rows, but I'm sure you all do. So tonight I'm gonna to start off by asking you a couple questions. I'd like you to raise your hand or shout yes. Uh, I just have two of them, they're pretty simple. I promise uh, you have nothing to worry about. It's not a repeat of last week's exams. All right, are you ready? The first one, how many of you got your degree from GRCC with the hope of soon getting a job or getting an even better job than what you already have? Yes, good answer. Next, if I told you that I would like to hire you to give you a job to do right now, how many of you might be interested in that offer? Good, I love the enthusiasm. Some of you may be on the fence still. You might wanna hold out to find out how much I'm paying or the benefits. That would be wise. Shows that you've learned to be cautious here at GRCC. Well, perhaps I can entice you by telling you that the jobs that I'm gonna talk about tonight, the jobs I am offering you, actually have the best benefits that anyone could ask for. They make you happier. They make other people happier. And believe it or not, they actually are proven to make you live longer. So what are these great jobs that I'm talking about? It's plain and simple. They are jobs giving back to the community through volunteerism. Now I know you might think that as the mayor of Grand Rapids, I am required to encourage every single one of you to volunteer. But I'm here to tell you that from my experience in public service especially, giving back to our community is incredibly rewarding. And I have the opportunity to see the benefits every single day in neighborhoods and people all around us that come from individuals like you who are giving back. I also believe that our city would not be what it is today if it were not for the many, many people who have given of their time and talent to make our community a better place for everyone. Now I recognize that as mayor, you may see, think that I'm biased. Uh, so I don't expect you to uh, take my word for it. Uh, what I want to do is I want you to hear directly from a few local citizens who until recently were students just like you, who sat in your very seats, students at GRCC. So I'm gonna let them help make the case for giving back. Hi, I'm Marissa Roberts, a 2007 GRCC graduate, and I volunteer in the community by writing grants for Grand Rapids classrooms and teachers, like here at North Park Montessori. Hi, I'm Todd Johnson, and I graduated in 2013, and I'm now volunteering over at the Criminal Justice Chaplain Center. I'm Erin Betka, and I'm the producer of Comedy Outlet Mondays. I used to work at Blanford School years ago and heard teachers talking excitedly about what they would do if they had unlimited resources to buy school supplies. So I took a grant writing workshop and started writing grants to help get supplies and materials for teachers. It is such a great feeling to watch the smiles on children's faces as they are learning. No matter what your degree is in or what field you go into or what you study, when you look around at your community and the world around you, you will see a need. And it's really exciting to be able to make a difference in the world. When I volunteer here, I will actually be helping with people who are working on re-entering to the community as well as those who have already re-entered. I will be some type of a support, as well as not only a support, but a, a liaison to getting back to the community resources. Volunteering is, is, is an elation. It's a, it's a joy to be able to give back what at one time I was a recipient of. Everybody should volunteer. I mean, it doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter your size, it doesn't matter your race. You're a product of your community, and what you put in your community is what you get out. This is my acceptance speech. <laughs> so I like to think that I give back by encouraging smiles and community. In short, Jay-Z now has 100 problems. <laughs> 
The fact that it's all volunteer and it's all um, people just give up of their time, uh, it's, it creates kind of an understanding of we're in this together. Knowing that a community is there for me um, makes me just want to keep giving back if you, if you keep encouraging people to become a part of it. It becomes a part of you and that's something super special and you can't find that a lot of places but Grand Rapids is pretty spectacular for that. So uh, if you don't choose comedy, uh, which is fine, you still have an opportunity to make a difference. I'm a GRCC graduate and I'm making a difference. I'm a GRCC graduate and I'm making a difference. I'm a GRCC alum and I make a difference one laugh at a time. We need you. So if anyone ever doubted the impact that graduates from Grand Rapids Community College have on this community, Marissa, Todd, and Aaron show exactly what each of you are capable of. And I presume many of you are already likely having a significant impact. In fact, some of you in this very audience, soon to be graduates, Daniel Ritterboss, Brianna Wildey, Amanda Aguirre, Caitlin Gibbs, Jonathan Jackson, Megan Garstecki, Yes, I have heard about each and every one of you. You are already giving back in so many ways, volunteering in local nonprofits, helping to maintain local parks, helping in schools and churches, supporting senior citizens. There are countless ways that the hundreds of you, hundreds of you who are here tonight can and are giving back to our community. So for the people that you help, like those that you just saw, the benefits are clear. There are children learning math more easily than if someone hadn't stepped up to help. There are ex-offenders successfully re-entering our community thanks to a GRCC graduate's compassion. And there are lots of people getting a good laugh because a former acting student is sharing her talents right here in our community. But, before, but for you, and what I want you to think about is that the benefits to your health and wellness are real. In a study analyzed by the University of Michigan, which followed more than 10,000, 10,000 individuals for 60 years, people who are motivated to volunteer are almost three times as likely to live longer than those who do not. And the more frequently and regularly that you volunteer, the better the results are. Another study conducted recently by the Carnegie Mellon University showed that those who volunteer 200 hours in just one year, that's only four hours a week, we're likely to have lower blood pressure than those who did not. So just imagine the impact we could all have by giving four hours a week of our time. The trick is though, and I have to point this out, is that you have to want to volunteer. You have to have a heart for it. You have to genuinely want to help others in order to get these benefits. But somehow I think most of you are already in that place. And that means that all of you as GRCC graduates, you're gonna be happier and you're gonna live longer. But from my personal experience, I know personally that I would, be not, I would not be where I am today had it not been for the many people who stepped up to help me. When I was in high school, it was a number of mentors that I had through the Upward Bound program who helped me believe that I could actually go to college. Neither of my parents had gone to college and I was the first in my family to earn a degree. And as a city commissioner and as a mayor, it is volunteers who helped us build playgrounds, helped us build parks, helped us plant trees. And at St. John's, where I work every day, volunteers mentor children. They come in and they teach yoga. They tutor our students who are, who are struggling and they beautify our campus. I can say with absolute certainty that the world would be a far more challenging place if it were not for the power of people. So now that you're ready to go out and make a difference, to be your best, your most altruistic self, where do you go? For starters, you can start right here, right here at GRCC. You can volunteer at Grand Rapids Public Schools, Friends of GR Parks, DA Blodge at St. John's, where I work. We are always looking for volunteers. You can also go online to volunteermatch.org and choose from hundreds of local organizations that would love to make use of your many talents. 
Every year, there's an organization called Give Camp that uses the skills of programmers, writers, graphic designers to help nonprofits develop websites for free. The heart of West Michigan, United Way, they need volunteers. Local clinics, hospitals can make use of your medical skills that you learned right here at GRCC. Habitat for Humanity would love to rely on your building skills. The list goes on and on and on, and I'm sure that there's not one person who is getting a degree here tonight who doesn't have the ability, doesn't have a skill that they can share to help someone else. So as soon as you sign up for one of these incredible jobs that I have offered, I hope that I get to see you. I hope I get to see you giving back. Hopefully you can thank me for encouraging you to step up, and I can thank you for the impact that you're making on our community. And remember, just like the three GRCC graduates that you heard from tonight in that video, who said, you are a GRCC graduate, and you can make a difference. So thank you so much for including me in this important night tonight. I really appreciate being here, and congratulations to each and every one of you.